knowing carries an energy. Is that right? That when you come to knowing and it kind of drops into your body and you've like got it. Well, let's go back to that word resonance. That's what that is. When you have that feeling that you're describing, that means you've found a way to let go of a little more resistance and come into a little more allowing. And that's what we would describe as knowing. The feeling of knowing is finally allowing the furthest point you've reached to. So in light of what we've been discussing here today, how long does knowing last? And it does set up the immediate contrast of, you know what you know, and you know what you don't know. And the don't know is big, but no, that's useful. But consider this. Introduced to this discussion, right where it is, the subject of general. You know a whole lot generally so you can by stepping into the general knowledge you can release a lot of resistance and then discover the new piece of knowing I like that that's yeah. really perfect. most important thing we have ever said yeah. not gonna say it again if you didn't hear it too bad <laughs> <laughs> we'll say it in a different way we've been talking about going general so when you're in that place where a new piece of knowing has just settled into you, it's a delicious feeling. You could do that more often by going general with the things that you've practiced resistance about, because when you go general, you release resistance and then the knowing comes to you and the feeling of knowing it's not the thought process of discovering a way to say something. It's not the thought process of discovering how to write out the new equation. What true knowing is, is that resonance. It's that non resistant state of being and the beasts of your planet are there much of the time. They know you call them instinctual. They just are focused more generally. Yes, I. That's amazing work. Thank you so much for this teaching. This is amazing work. Right back at you.